so hi friends my name is shumun mundol and today i will give you some conception about dpt switches so we all know very few much about dpt switches so you know, what does it works uh, when we uh, are uh, going to change the polarity of a motor we usually use this dpt switches when we press the switch in the forward direction the motor uh, rotate in the forward direction and when we change its uh, direction to the uh, when we want to change the direction of the motor we press it in the backward direction so this way the dpt switch works so when we uh, buy a dpt switch from the market um, we can see like this uh, the switch is uh, like this way we can press it both side here or here in both side we can press this so if we uh, flip it we can see that the uh, switch shows that there is uh, six points like this there are six points in the dpt switches so uh, i will uh, give a numbering of the six points so the six points i have shown in here by the dot okay then i will number these dots so here is number one two three four five six so here are the six points i will numbering it one two three four five and six don't take is the uh, like this one two three four five six don't take this way uh, you will take like this way one two three four five six you will be helped by this so and then uh, now comes to the uh, we come to the wiring so what happens the uh, suppose this is the dpt switch and here are the six connections like this so at first what should we do we would uh, connect the number one to number six okay then uh, we will take the um, connection and we will take the number two to the number five okay so we are connecting the switches diagonally like this if the switches is like this then we are connecting this way and this way so um, i think you all are clear uh, no, okay and now uh, these two points three and the four we will connect it to the motor so here uh, suppose this is the motor and we have connected it like this way so our first step is complete so we will further go for step 2 so here in the step 2 what we should do the same internal connection will remain like 1 2 3 4 5 6 and uh, they are connected like this and uh, this like this and uh, this is connected uh, like this in the motor and what should we do in the last um, we should uh, connect uh, a power source or a battery through the point one and point two okay so this is the internal wiring if we uh, want to attach more motors we can um, uh, can make a series connection like this uh, here we are taking the second motor and uh, we are connecting uh, these points and like this and like this positive and negative so how much you want you can add it like this way so the internal connection is ready now uh, we will come to the um, uh, working principle of this stability switches so the um, uh, when we press the switch to forward then what happens this uh, now take the dpt switches the points are 1 2 3 4 5 6 this way so when we press it forward the motor connection the motors positive and the negative connections are directly attaching with the point 
one and two the three point is going to the uh, attach with the point one and the four point is going attached to the point two so what happens um, we are saying that the motors positive terminal is attaching with the positive terminal of the voltage source so the motor will obviously rotate in the forward direction and uh, the next if we press the switch backward what will happen uh, the same circuit like this one two three four five six and uh, two three four five six and we can see that the motors positive terminal this and the negative terminal this will connect it through these points three will connect it with the five and the four will connect it with the six points okay uh, so here in this picture we can see that uh, the uh, point one is uh, connected through six and hence the point one is the uh, connected with the voltage positive terminal so this point will be um, and uh, here in this point is the positive voltage we can see that there is positive voltage and uh, so um, there is going on the point two is also connected with the point uh, five and um, now you can uh, tell that the uh, voltage negative source is connected with the 4.5 so here is the negative voltage working so uh, the uh, we can see clearly that the motors positive terminal is connected with the negative voltage uh, i mean uh, voltage negative terminal and the negative one is connected to the positive terminal so the motor will obviously uh, rotate in the backward direction So this way the total uh, DPT uh, system works. So I will show you again the step 2 picture and the step 1 picture and I will further give the numbers 3 and the 4 and the terminal 5 and the terminal 6. Okay. Thank you for watching the video.